Amigo. Nice days. Kingly Red. All right. Where are we going? Fireworks party. Oh, we're still at the circus. Strange thing about this level is that we actually go back to it being nighttime. Interesting. Okay. So, are there fireworks? There will be. Sparklers? I should say that this mission is the closest thing in this game to a sort of escort mission. Ah. Oh, those are always fun. Yeah, it's... It's not. What can you do to help him? Oh, man. Do his work a for game him. A mission about listening to somebody's problems. Yeah. I love that. Just push him off a ledge. Comes right back. That's our objective. That little ball right there. But before we actually do that, I think I actually sidetracked for some coins. If the little guy will stop. Come on. Fucking moving. Oh man, that B. The games didn't always have prompts figuring like figured out. Like talking to characters, sometimes they'd be a different button than the action button and I don't know. Just wasn't always good. Yeah. So we'll get to that, but after we're done here. Whoa! Oh, no. And of course that amazing camera. Ca amazing camera oh doing work. That's that's that uh, Sonic Team camera. He is right rushing there. in. He, he doesn't look. He's gonna kick your ass. Well, his ass has already been kicked, unfortunately. Oh no! So I mean, we're basically just retracing the level at this point. We've seen everything. Dude, you killed him. He's dead because of you. Who, Big the Cat? Yeah. Is that what you wanted? Um. I, me personally, no. I know a lot of people do, but uh, I actually don't mind him. I'm uh, hoping for his big return once the Sonic Adventure t one twentieth anniversary comes around. <laughs> which one of these days? Ninety-eight. That came out. It so was, uh, yeah, it's pretty close to I think that um, Sonic Adventure is almost twenty years old. That's very strange to think about. It is actually. <laughs> But I um I was really hoping for Sonic Adventure 3 during that conference. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah, we could talk about that. What uh I mean Mania is cool and all, but I really like Mania. As soon as they did that interview where he said that there's no Sonic Adventure 3, it's just the whole spirit of the room it just, just died just, that yeah. instant. Oh, man. It's gone. It died for me and like I turned it off. I saw some Crush 40 that was unintentionally hilarious. They announced that other Sonic game which is weird. It's like it's not Generations 2 but it has classic Sonic in it. We don't know what it is. Yeah, they said they said explicitly it's not a sequel. Yeah. It'll be like Generations hopefully cuz oh. Generations was good. Generations was good. Yeah, but I'm just interested to see where they go with it. I just like the uh, dancing Sonic for like an hour before the conference started. <laughs> oh boy, the, uh, with the Totino's, DJs. Yeah. Totino's product placement. Yeah. Was good. Totino's. Like I will eat this whole bag of Totino's. Didn't they play the the, the Tim and Eric song there? The Totino's pizza roll song? Yeah. I don't. I didn't catch it. Pretty sure it. they did. I doubt that. No, the Tim and Eric did a actual That's commercial an for, ad for them. Totino's. So it, it's possible. All right, back to the objective. Now that we're finally done collecting coins, this is what we're escorting. This little fireworks bomb here. As you can see, it cannot bounce, and if it hits, if it so much as touches an enemy, it blows up and the mission fails. So okay. I'm assuming this also kills Billy. Uh, it doesn't matter if it does or not because the mission fails once it's gone anyway. Whatever comes first, whether the mission fails or Billy, you know, gets incinerated by the bomb. I think you should get incinerated. Either way, you lose. And it's not fun. Yeah, so that's why I just sort of leave it in the corner there while I try taking care of these enemies. And pray that none of the Big the Cats, uh, you know, walk over to it. Okay, seriously, like, the Big the Cats are like the main enemy in this game. You gotta think, like, you should not put them in there. <laughs> just to give people the chance to beat up on Big the Cat. Maybe. I thought he liked him. I don't know. Like, silly Japanese Big Cat. Well, he was introduced in Sonic Adventure 1, but did Yuji Naka make him? I don't know. I thought, well, did Yuji Naka make, he, didn't he make SA1? Yeah, he did. He spearheaded it. Like I said uh, in previous conversations, not on this, but in real life, 
I want a making of Sonic Adventure documentary specifically for the soundtrack. We have real lives. How they got all those people, how they found them, you know. Oh, you mean the soundtrack? Yes. Like, I would love some info on okay, that Okay, I just, I want you to like be as cheesy as possible. Then <laughs> go for it. This is your big break. Yeah, you know? you're talking about when he's talking to the Crush 40 guy. Yeah. I think it was pitched as, okay, you obviously like Van Halen, all that stuff. This is your big chance, man. You're going to be a rock star. <laughs> and then he's out there looking at all the fat Sonic nerds. <laughs> and he's just, what did I do? <laughs> I, this was my big Van Halen moment. I was actually reading up on the guy when uh, Crush 40, Johnny Giolelli is his name or something. It's just him and Joan, right? Yeah, it's him and Joan, but they actually like were a band before Sonic Adventure. They did music for... One of, I think it was like Sega Rally or Daytona or something like that. Uh, I, he, I don't think it was Daytona because Daytona is clearly Daytona. I know some it's of the people guy. who do the Sonic Adventure uh, like vocal songs did some stuff for Nights before. Yeah, yeah. Because he was pretty much how I imagined him, except I imagined him a little bit fatter and maybe long greasy hair. Oh, really? When I saw him... At the Sonic press conference, he was wearing the whole 80s metal getup. Yeah, he looks basically it's like, normal. Yes. Like, much too normal to be the spearhead of a Sonic revolution. <laughs> I'm just wondering what he does in the meantime, you know? Well, he has, I bet he has like an office job or something. He can't be <laughs> making money off a of Crush 40. Oh, by the way, Emblem's there, but these penguins are sort of pissing me off, so... Just sort of slaughter them real quick. Hey, nothing like some good old penguin slaughter. I will not miss them. This is the last time we're going to see them. They're not yes. in any other worlds. Good morning. Unfortunately, we had something worse, but we'll, oh, cro yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you for um, setting our expectations, buddy. <laughs> You'll see. No, don't. You're not the one that's to play this. That's true. Obviously, this LP should have been over a long time ago. I mean, how are LPs on this website? Are they more, uh, do they have a better schedule than we've had? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure many things have a better schedule it, than we do. This LP's overdue. These eggs are stinking. This this was an Easter egg hunt. This Easter egg hunt has fallen into this September. This whole project is rotten now. Now it's like the 100-year egg. Yeah. Billy oh, God. Hatcher. That's not what I had, though. Wait, is that what the game is called? No, the giant egg. The giant egg. I was like, what? The 100 year egg is some terrible delicacy in a in, foreign country. In China, it's like they leave an egg to ferment for like one month and it turns all black. Oh man, that's. And you eat it. That just, you know, gets my that appetite sounds running. Like it would kill me. Yeah. I'd try it. I'll try it if it works. I tried, uh. What was it? Like. Pig intestines or something. Oh, that dude. made me almost sick to my stomach. That is some fear factor level stuff. Right there. I, you could just see the look on my face the first bite of this big bowl of pig intestines. Like, I wasn't going to eat any more of it. The, the people next to my table, they are just laughing at me looking like, what? <laughs> uh, what did this kid just do? What did he get himself into? What a spoiled for, you know, yeah. first world. <laughs> No, the, this is Our this was a black couple. This was a black couple, so they were in the same boat as me. Okay. They're just like, yo, I totally get it. <laughs> You're eating pig intestines and you don't want to. You remember these missions, right? Um, sort of. I remember like there were some that obviously you had to play as the other characters. I'm talking about what we're doing, rescuing the eight chickens. No. These are usually the longest missions in each world. We have to sort of navigate the entire level of freeing chickens from cages. Yeah, I think I sort of do. It's basically like the, the eight red coins of this game. Basically, yeah. But usually it consists of defeating enemies, opening cages, and running throughout the whole level again. Yeah. It's just to get some extra longevity out of it. 
I've, uh, after playing this game again, I've started to realize how uh, repetitive and tedious it is. Really? Is your opinion changed on this game? Let's be uh, honest, a lot of these Yakuza scenes are. A little bit. Really? You, you guys will see when we come to it, but you'll know what I'm talking about. to play the first nights one of these days. I have. It's on PS3 and Xbox 360. I've only played the second one on Wii. Which I like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I vie for pure natural Saturn versions. You still it, have that, right? Yeah, That's yeah. That's great. I wish I had that. It feels good on that controller, too. It has a special controller. I've, I've always yeah. heard that like that game and that controller are like a match made in heaven. They are. It takes a little getting used to. Like, if you're used to just X input 360, you know, you're not going to like it at first. I'm you're, telling you now. You're thinking about Knights, King Lee. Is that because of this is like the circus level? Uh, sort of, yeah. Also, because like I just, we are talking about Yuji Naka games, and that just came to mind. We do that a lot during this LP, but, you know, yes. his name comes up a lot. <laughs> This is this is his baby, you know. This is gonna be his next Sonic. Oh man. Hopefully, when you know, crash and burn, and die out like Knights. But at least Knights got another game. Knights. What? Well, at least they didn't get the fate of you know Crash Bandicoot Spyro, in their uh, Sky Dimension Sky whatever. Skylanders. Skylanders. Yeah. Meh. There are worse fates. Oh man, there Gosh. is there is conquer. I did. Oh, yeah. I saw footage of Cortex on uh, Skylanders. It looked okay. It looked, it looked kind of okay, fun. but it's it's still like I can't I can't describe that feeling when we were watching the uh, the PlayStation conference. Uh, he, when he walks out yeah. on stage with the Crash music and he's got uh, nah. Crash walking behind him, he's like, "Hey, Crash is coming back in Skylanders." Woo! It is everyone collectively. Uh, yeah. I was laughing so hard. Yeah, I know you were, and I was like, I was. Sony I was wins cursing. again, baby. <laughs> Sony always wins. We Crash went to Bandicoot and Skylanders. Woo! We went to a movie theater to watch the PlayStation E3 for I don't know what reason. Yeah, Just because it was the, fun. The ex yeah. The PlayStation experience. That's what they called it. The PlayStation experience. It, and it was literally. I just went for the experience. Yeah. So we could feel the collective. You know, the Sony Bronies. Disappointment. Hey, I still that that is a good cup that I got there. I still drink <laughs> I out have of it. it. I threw away that poster. Yeah, I threw away the poster. I threw away most of that stuff. I have the cup though. It's a good cup. Yeah. And, so I can uh, look back and think about you know, you know came, Sony E3 came with the 2016. Coupon for like ten bucks on the PSN store. So I was like, what? That was the good thing. They gave that you ten bucks thing. for free. Oh snap! I might have that still. It mu it's probably expired. Think so? Uh, I, I think you had like a week or something to. Ah. Oh. I never used it because I don't. I never used PSN. You notice how they still make you do that puzzle? Yeah, over and over again. That's one of the things I'm talking about. Every time that puzzle comes up, I'm going to speed it up, just letting you know. Okay. Yeah. I will not... I'm sure you guys, you know, do not mind that at I all. I am not arguing that. Not at all. As always, still getting five points in every level. What's he saying? Yamma! Yahoo. So, is she saying, like, Yahoo or something? Yahoo. Yeah. Very Japanese. You know, woo! Yahoo! Yeah. Yahoo. I thought yeah. woo, woo and Yahoo were Italian things. And Wario goes, Yahoo. Oh. I know that much. That's one of his taunts in Mario Party. Okay, that's Yahoo. Yeah. They change it up. So kawaii. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, Lord. I, uh, I keep talking about these guys whenever I see them, how he keeps, you know, making enemies. Yeah. He'll do that infinitely. So, so it's good for racking up points, right? I actually stick around and try to see how I, you know, how big I can make my combo. Okay, oh. okay, let's see. And um, I'm judging you I, right uh, now. I get pretty far. Okay. So far that I got a combo got so huge right. that he sped up. A little bit of English on that one. All right. So yeah. 57. 57. Beautiful. Any more? No, uh, I, I fail here. I just couldn't get one after that. Ah. Uh, I remember racking up, trying to rack up combos in that uh, GameCube Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Uh, 
Did you ever play that one based on the cartoon? I played yes. the first one. Yes, and I did. It was really fun. Yeah, the, it was kind of basic combos, but I would just try to rack up points on those little electronic dinosaurs. Was dudes. there an infinite trick like I just did? Yeah, I think there was an infinite trick. I just remember uh, there being a lot of unlockables and stuff. Yeah. All right, got all five coins. Now you might have Ooh. noticed during that whole combo I got, it was uh, rainbow. Yes. There actually is a level higher than that, but I don't get it until much later. Rainbow but, beautiful? No, but you will see it. <laughs> I promise, you will see it. Rainbow Mika. Or Mika. The only good thing about that game. About Street Fighter Five. I personally, I think. Yeah, I mean, what? What's well, no, 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 Birdie. Birdie's great too. What's your overall say, opinion of, as of now of what you've played? Well, like you see here, I just got a PS4, but I'm not gonna get that game until it's a little more complete. Yeah. yeah. It's the combat is amazing. It's yeah. Still really it's, fun. It's like it's pure. It's really fun. But. But I can wait, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it needs a little more stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, there's gonna be another like story DLC thing sooner or later. Yeah. With Gil in it. Holy Christ, not done with this mission yet. See what I mean? Yep, <laughs> uh, this is taking quite a while. <laughs> well, they make you go throughout the whole level. Yeah. It's filler, basically. All these all these kinds of games have uh, this kind of filler in them. These Rescue the Chicken missions, they want you to make sure you know the level inside and out. And I, I do by now. I feel like a lot of the old 3D platformers had filler. Uh, and, and uh, like, 3D world for the Wii U is a culmination of like the perfect platformer no filler at all yeah every level in that game is fun and has something new yeah, the, say, the only times it really repeats itself when you get to the very end yeah you gotta do the hard levels I was gonna say Sonic Adventure 2 like you know how you have to do the mission five times there's different oh. ones yeah that's basically what I'm doing for this LP which I don't think anyone would do if they were doing a Sonic Adventure LP yeah no Lord, I remember some of those missions being torture. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys already know you're in this for the long haul. Yep. This is <laughs> sure the this is the 100% Billy Hatcher Woo! experience. Let's do it. Let's do it. Did I hey, you didn't Ooh. speed this up. I forgot. I'm sorry. He half sped it up. Oh. Um, I must have missed one. I was thinking, uh, the, like the first thing that came to mind that doesn't really have any filler in is uh, Banjo Kazooie. I played through the whole thing recently, and that whole game is just. You Wait, you finally played through that thing? I mean, I've played Banjo Kazooie before, but okay. I I hundred percented it recently. Yeah, I do that within a day. Just that game is I've amazing. I've never extensively played Banjo. So. You like Conquer though, but you need. To I play love Banjo. Conquer. Yeah, Banjo Conquer. is is the masterpiece. Yeah. I Con thought Conquer was the masterpiece. Banjo well, is Conquer with good platforming. I'll put it that yeah, way. Yeah, I haven't played uh, enough Conquer to say it for sure, but Banjo. I is liked amazing. the platforming. It in was Conquer. a little iffy, but it's way even better in Banjo. Yeah. Yeah, two is like the Galaxy Two of Banjo, but the first game is as stronger as a whole, I think. Yeah. So yeah, Billy Hatcher. Billy um, Hatcher. Yeah, we finished the chicken mission. She's a cute chicken. Wow. And look at that score from when my uh. I didn't know you don't like get an chickens a. that way. You didn't get an A, S. man. Really? No, you got an S, man. It's terrible. I can't believe you. Yep. This was the era where S was the top rank instead of A. I, 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 some games still do that. Yeah. What now? We got two more missions in Circus Park. They're a lot shorter, but we'll get to that next time. Okay, okay. All right. That was a good run. Till then, end of video.